time. Uh, <laughs> it's all that time spent together. And what we see right now, this is Dylan and Coco. Uh, we don't have favorites among our dolphins. That being said, Coco is by far my favorite. <laughs> she has the biggest personality. She loves to jump high. She loves to be in the water. She just really thrives on so many really fun things. Um, so what we see, Dylan and Coco are just messing around. This is how we get to know each other, because also as trainers, we all enact the, the movements and everything that we do a little bit differently. So this time, finding our fun, finding what makes Coco light up, and how Coco responds to Dylan, that's how Dylan and Coco build their relationship. And from that relationship, we can work on their very important medical behaviors. We can work on everything learning that you see in the show. It all comes from these special moments. Now because Coco and all of these animals are such amazing ambassadors for their species, they are the reason the guests just like Kennedy, is there Kennedy over here? Come on down, get to have one-on-one -on -one encounters with our animals each and every day. Whales can be found all throughout our global oceans that are close relatives to both dolphins and killer whales. Our two pilot whales here at the Ampeda were rescued. They were found stranded off the coast of Florida nearly 12 years ago. When they stranded, they were estimated to be only between three and six months old. So due to their young age when they stranded, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission deemed them not leasable, and luckily sea will have become their forever home. Twelve years later, Ava and Piper are thriving and each weigh over 1,700 pounds. Now pilot whales truly do have a zest for life. They are playful and curious. But one of the best ways that we can build our relationships with them is with a little bit of playtime. So please enjoy this very special playtime with our short fin pilot whales, Ava and Piper.
want to stay in those seats because we have our grand finale coming up with even more high-flying fun. But if you do need to leave before the end of our presentation, we ask you to exit up the stairways and out the back. Not only for your safety, but the safety of our animals as well. Reducing our use of single-use plastics, we can all work together to help keep trash and find its way into animal habitats. You can even join or organize your own community or beach cleanups. Little things like this truly do add up to make a big difference. Just by being here today, you've shown your love for animals. And we hope that you will join us in our commitment to care for the world around us, including the land, seas, skies, and of course, all of its incredible creatures. Well, everyone, it looks like the gang is all here, and that means it's time for some more fun. So let's live it up, because the world is ours. From the sky to the sea to the Looking at the end. 